Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we're gonna do something that I figured would be kind of fun to try. We're gonna head out for some more raccoons, but we're gonna use a bow this time, because I got to thinking. A lot of times I find myself sitting in a bush, calling in the raccoons, and then blasting them with a shotgun or the 22, and that really just spooks everything off, so I could probably do the same thing with a bow. Uh, since I usually wait for them to get close anyway, so let's go ahead and jump in and try to get a few raccoons with the bow. I think this could be quite a bit of fun. <laughs> oh, this never gets old. I absolutely love these weird gate physics. Oh my gosh. I saw Flinter doing this in one of his recent videos and I gotta say... It is probably the most hilarious bug I've ever seen in the Hunter Call of the Wild. We've never really had a bug quite like this, and it just like sucks the gate back to the hinges. It's beautiful. It's honestly the best bug ever. I don't think we've ever had one quite this hilarious, and oh my gosh, it's, it's just too good. <laughs> well, we already have a raccoon doing a warning call. Let's uh, go ahead and go prone and try to call this thing in. Hopefully we can get it pretty close without it spooking off. I don't think we can be hidden in any of these uh, cotton plants, so we're just gonna have to kinda hope that it doesn't spook off before it actually gets over to us. Yeah, this wind is shifting pretty badly. We're just gonna run up and hope that we can figure out where it is before it runs off, uh, because I don't see us getting close enough with this wind, unfortunately. And uh, there is some of the tracks. Hopefully we can catch up to it. That's a 10 to 13 kg. Okay, so that's a really big one. Uh, if only we could find it. The wind kind of screwed us over there, so not really too much we could do. Well, that's not the same raccoon, and uh, neither is that one, but you know what? We will go ahead and take both of these out if we can. And I uh, don't exactly know how that didn't hit, but you know what? We can attempt to hit it again. <laughs> these little dudes are going to be elusive. I can already tell. But there we go, we finally smacked it with an arrow, and maybe even a second, I don't think so. But at least we finally got an arrow into one. Oh my gosh, these little things are tough. You absolutely have to hit vitals with this in order to actually effectively take them down. That's crazy, the raccoons are honestly one of the tankiest things in the game, I swear. Yeah, I didn't expect to hit that. That's crazy though, you absolutely have to hit vitals with these uh, 300 grain arrows. That I did not expect. So there it is, our uh, first kill of the day. Not exactly super impressive, just a, a brown female raccoon. Level one, uh, hit it twice, and yeah, it's uh, uh, not super great. 300 grain small, or, uh, small game point tracer arrows are not exactly that strong. So yeah, I guess we'll have to be very careful with our shots from now on. This thing has to be super, super close because I can hear it making its little, uh, I don't even know what they would be considered. It's like a growling, gargling sound and, oh, well, hello there. I guess, uh, that's where it is. I still have not been able to figure out where that male is, but, uh, we do have that female right in front of us, 40 meters away. We're gonna try and get a little bit closer. They are quite a small target. Okay, we are pretty much in the perfect spot. We're about 20 away. Let's uh, see if we can maybe push up and get it to move slightly. Maybe? Uh, okay, there it is. It's going alert finally. There we go. That should have sunk into a lung. Yeah, it definitely did. Uh, where's the other one? Where is the male? I'm really hoping that we can find that thing before too late, but I guess maybe it had already spooked. I mean, I don't see it anywhere, so I'm going to assume it probably did, but there is our uh, little female raccoon. Got it in the vertebrae and the lung. 4.60 on the score. Not too bad. Uh, still kind of underwhelming the way these 300 grain arrows perform on them, though. But then again, they are quite a tanky little critter for their size, at least. Well, we've got ourselves a level 3 raccoon right here in its drink zone, and I decided to switch over to drink zones and try to find as many of them as I could because I really don't know where they drink, but the feed zones just were not working out for us. It was taking way too long just to get what you guys have seen in the video already, which I think was like three raccoons. It took us an hour to do that. 
and uh, I don't want it to take an hour to get three more so I decided to switch over to drink zones and uh, we'll see what we can do here oh my gosh hello there uh, well that's not the same one I am almost positive that is a different one we are hidden where we're currently sitting so I mean we might as well take that little one out 15 meters away this should be a decently easy shot let's just uh, line up on it and hit the tree and then get the north bug that's uh that's a fun time right there well we managed to get that arrow into it that at least uh should hopefully get it going down you know what I'm not going to let this uh, thing get away let's just go ahead and light it up with the 22 yeah that will uh, do the trick right there these raccoons are incredibly tough if you don't get lung with that arrow it's all over you're probably not gonna take it down so I'm kind of uh, wondering if maybe it's just not even worth doing because the raccoons are quite a small target and you need to hit absolutely perfect and uh, well we're probably just getting unlucky which is most likely the case because they are kind of spooking off when we don't want them to and then also we've had them just completely uh, have arrows blocked by the trees so not exactly getting the luckiest uh, encounters here but uh, that still doesn't change the fact that it is difficult to hit these things and difficult to hit them well well we did finally find a nice level 4 raccoon so I'm probably going to keep that marker on top of him and uh, once we finish running this river we will double back and uh, try to take him out uh, it's definitely the best thing we've seen this entire hour and seven minutes that I've been chasing after them and uh, there's also a little level one female next to him so I guess he's uh, not gonna die alone at least so there's a raccoon right there I can't quite tell what it is I just know that it's right here um, it honestly kind of looked like one of those uh, piebald variations however I doubt it is it's uh, probably just me seeing things but you know we can be optimistic about it and hopefully it will be because that would be kind of cool to take out with a bow I mean there it is that is a level three uh, to be honest I think it's just a regular brown it's kind of hard to tell from here though so fingers crossed that it is one of the uh, piebald variations but I think it's just one of the browns yeah it looks like it's just a brown fur variation raccoon but that's uh, still a raccoon we haven't really seen too much so I'll take anything at this point let's uh, see if we can just get a good broadside shot and that was a little bit far forward but actually I think that was vitals never mind maybe that was a perfect shot and uh, that little raccoon is a goner <laughs> that is just a regular brown as I thought level 3 very easy and yeah that shot was actually perfect double lung 8.90 that's crazy that even a double lung at 9 meters doesn't instantly kill them well then this just shows how perfect you have to be with your shots otherwise they're just gonna run around and probably not die anytime soon but uh, we did get that one down and oh my gosh there's another one and lots of thunder my gosh that thunder is intense it, it just keeps on going oh my gosh calm down well yeah it's another level three and uh, this one is nervous it looks like so uh, not exactly gonna come to a call we could maybe try to stick it right now if we want to well it's drinking you know we probably could sneak up a little bit closer to it and we just discovered the drink zone as well you know there's a lot of raccoon drink zones throughout here we've got four of them right here and then two three down here there's quite a few of them along this stretch I kind of like this you know what when it's heads down we actually should be able to get into the lungs right there I think that's a makeable shot wait till it puts its head down and then we will go for the shot there we go that should be good yep it is a solid hit and uh, one more for good measure and <laughs> I didn't think that would work but you know it would have been cool if it did but that is probably another brown if I were to take a guess yeah it is it's another brown that seems to be the most common one I find for the males 
Uh, I think the gray is probably my favorite with the blonde coming in close second. I mean, the brown is still cool looking, but not as cool as the other two I just mentioned. And that right there, you know, that's a darker looking raccoon. It's probably nothing. Most likely it is just a common one, but you know, we can hope. Well, we got two level fours right there, so we've seen three fours have yet to shoot any of them. We might need to cross over right now and try to take these out because uh, it looks like that side of the river has some much more interesting raccoons and I'd kind of like to take some of those out instead. So uh, let's see, our first one that we spotted is over here. Let's uh, go to this outpost right here and just fast travel over. Oh my gosh, that is uh, a little bit closer than I thought it was. We're about 100 meters from where I marked that level four. It should be coming from this direction. I think the one that just warning called is probably a female. I didn't actually get the prompt, so it's kind of hard to tell. Oh no, that is a male. That is most certainly a male. Um, I, I don't know which one it is. It's gonna be hard to tell unless we can spot it. Oh, uh, that's the level one female. That's the three. Where is our nice level four? I don't even know. Um, I guess we'll just take her though since she's giving us a really good shot. We can, I guess, deal with the four later. I don't even know where the four is, so... I guess we'll start searching around. That might have been the four that warning called over here. I sure hope not, but I mean, regardless, we just got ourselves a nice little blonde female raccoon. And oh my gosh, we hit literally every organ pretty much. That was uh, quite the shot. That one actually might be the four right there. I mean, that's the three right there, so we might as well take that out. I don't think that four is going to give us a shot anytime soon, and in fact, this three might not even give us a good shot. There we go. We managed to get the three down. Uh, let's just real quickly zoom by, grab that little dude. It is a blonde level three too. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's see if we can even figure out where the four went. I really have no clue where it could have possibly gone to. The only thing I can think of is maybe it's the one that we spooked over there. I mean, it's kind of looking like that. Maybe. Well, the tracks just absolutely vanish for this level four. I have no idea where it went off to. It's uh, past its drinking time now, so I don't think we're going to be able to catch up to it. We could reset the time, but I think with the amount of time it has took me just to get these raccoons that we have taken down, we're probably just going to go ahead and end the video. This has been a lot more difficult than I thought, and it's took about an hour and a half just to get what you guys have seen in this video, which uh, it's, it's took a lot longer than I expected it to, and I still have to edit a video for tomorrow. So I guess uh, we will go ahead and just end it here. If you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys are enjoying the map and also to let me know what you guys would like to see in the future videos and uh, with that being said thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next one peace